Hi, Kristen. Um, this is the question that you uh, had some worries or concerns about on the Chapter 3 test. So I did want to work this one with you so that if you take this test uh, again that you could perhaps do better on this one. So I would say definitely the way to approach this question, um, I would try it first in the calculator. And so you can always take and put the left side in Y1 and the right side in Y2. So if we do that and we hit graph, we get here's the left side. That's that thing that would be a parabola. And here's that Y equals 6. And you're asked to find where do those things intersect? When does this thing equal this thing? So you can simply do second calc 5 intersect and hit enter three times. So you get your first point at negative 3. Then you repeat that process, but you have to move before you hit enter. You have to get over there in the vicinity, and then hit enter three times. And you get point 0.4, well that's 4 tenths, which is 2 fifths. So that's where they got those two answers. Now it looked like what you tried, when I saw what answer you put in, you tried maybe to do the quadratic equation we should still be able to get these two answers. So if I, if I actually multiply that out and go 5x squared plus 13x, and I bring the 6 over, so that's my quadratic equation. So a is 5, b is 13, and c is negative 6. All right. So x equals negative 13 plus or minus square root of 13 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 6 all over 2 times 5. Okay, negative 13 plus or minus square root of 169 plus 120 over 10. And we're just working this through. Negative 13 plus or minus square root of 289 over 10. 289 is a perfect square, so we have negative 13 plus or minus square root of that is 17 over 10. Alright, so we have two things. We have either negative 13 plus 17 over 10 or negative 13 minus 17 over 10. Well, that's 4 on the bottom, I mean on the top, and 10 on the bottom. That's 4 tenths, which is 2 fifths. There's one thing. And then we've got negative 30 over 10, which is negative 3. So I'm not sure if you just missed something up in this part, but you could do that that way. You can always solve a quadratic using the, the quadratic formula, and you should have ended up that way, but a really easy way is to do it on the calculator and get the two intersecting points. So hopefully that gives you what you need on that problem.